Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on Starbase. Here today we're doing a little bit different. You know, normally we're doing we're checking out ships. I wouldn't call them reviews because we're not exactly reviewing their stats and stuff. We're kind of just checking them out. Although in the future, I'll probably will go through and examine the stats and do some other sub series like battle effectiveness, you know, some fun stuff. But anyway, we're here talking about how you can get some better performance and some little tips and tricks. So first off, if, of course, you probably already knew this, but you can use the slider here. Make sure the graphics was set to manual, you could use the slider. Max is gonna, of course, give you the best looking Roblox you can get. And about, you lose a lot of details around here, but once you get to here, then it stops rendering um, I think like all shadows and of course you don't see any planets around so yeah it does that too it also lim starts limiting your rendering and if you go further all the way to the bottom the worst quality you can get of course okay I have my FPS cap but it, it can definitely go higher it also stops your rendering so let's go take out a ship uh, yep we'll go to We'll go to something you would likely use. Let's say you're using a destroyer leader. You know, something modest. Something you and the homies could fly around in. Vibin'. So one downside, of course, is with the full graphics, I can still get around 60, and it's capped, so it can go higher. But I can still go out. I can get some... I could farm some XP... I can take out some ships. Not a big deal. Let's actually get out of here before they get too mad. That should kill it. Yeah, this is one of my favorite ships to take out and fly around in. Mostly because, I mean, it's got everything I could need to take out smaller and heavier targets. But say your performance is just lacking. I'd recommend going to here. I mean, that way you could still at least see what's around you, defend yourself. But honestly, if you're needing performance, go to the middle. And if you need all you can get to even play, you just want to look at the ships and shoot them and stuff. Go to the lowest. Now, they have started adding a lot of stuff. They added graphic settings. So you can turn that down to no interiors. Which, bam, no interiors. So that's cool. You can also turn the shield stuff off. The space skybox. They have now added lots of cool new skyboxes, which I'll probably check out eventually. But you could check out all of the cool new skyboxes and find one that you like more. I like their classic space one though. That's my favorite. Well, I haven't seen the other ones. Show shadows. Keep that off. Hit effects. Just want to turn that down. Well, those are. The hit sounds is fine. You want to turn that off just so that I'll leave it on for me, of course. But you turn this one off, you'll get better performance because that's how that's stopping it from rendering those little extra points. Planet generation complete initial generation of all planets. Process cannot be stopped. Planet cannot load until process complete. I don't know what this is, but it's off. Probably better. And sound settings, of course, won't matter much. But some other stuff you could do to save up performance is shields off. Now, you will be shieldless. So there is that. But that takes up a little bit of extra stuff. Also, playing on smaller ships and not using all of this, all of the giant graphic intensive no, stuff that the game has. That would be best. And another trick you can do is once I stop here, oh, my interiors are off. I'm going to turn them back on because it's me. You can also immediately go to your navigation, map, zoom out, and then just select somewhere out here. Now, I will be careful. There was one time I spawned like way over here and my ship was, uh, it was kind of bugging. It was kind of going crazy. So just know where your PC limitations are. Spawn out here a bit. And then you can press start and bam, you're warping. Now, unfortunately, at a certain point, there is literally nothing you can do to make your performance better. 
except for getting a better PC. And they did add this cool new warp. I really like it. Like covers the whole ship and then you warp away. But like I was saying, at a certain point, you can't increase your performance and you're just gonna either have to get a better computer or you're gonna have to not play Starbase. And no one hopes that you can't play Starbase because Starbase is awesome. But that's basically all that you could do. So I thank you guys for watching this video and I hope to see you again very soon.